This is the first video um, that's dealing with accounting principle and binomial expansion. Um, and as we get started, um, I have a binomial, a plus b, and I'm raising it to all these different powers. And I wrote it out in a, in a specific way so that you can see the pattern that's happening. Um, keeping in mind, anything raised to the zero power is 1, um, and then a plus b to the first power is just a plus b. Um, but the coefficients here are 1. So I wrote down these ones so that you can see what's happening in just a second. This one I expect that you know pretty pretty quickly. a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. The next two, you might need to take this term right here and multiply it times a plus b, but when you do, you expand it out to this, where it's 1, 3, 3, 1 for your coefficients, and your exponents start, the a starts at 3 and works its way down, 3, 2, 1, and then there's 0 a's here. The b starts at 0. Notice this is b to the 0 power. I didn't write it at all. Um, then b to the first, b to the second, b to the third. A very similar thing happens when I have it um, to the fourth power. Um, the coefficients, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Then the um, exponents, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 a's. And then looking at the b exponents, it's b to the 0, b to the first, b to the second, b to the third, b to the fourth. Um, then what we're, we're making a connection here between this is the binomial expansion um, and the facts and then the counting principle. Um, so if I have the letters K-O-S-H, yes, I did that on purpose. Um, if I'm going to pick no letters, that's, that's like, um, I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But there's only one way to pick no, none of the letters. You pick none of them. You're done. Okay. The other, the next thing is, um, how many ways can I pick one letter? Well, I could pick a K, or I could pick an O, I could pick an S, or I could pick an H. There's four ways that I could pick just one letter out of those four letters. Um, then the next one, two letters, I could either pick KO, KS, KH, OS, OH, and then SH. Um, notice they're saying, how many ways can I choose that? It doesn't matter if I choose the K first, then the O, or the O first, then the K. Okay, so this, okay, haha. Uh -huh. um, this is a combination. We're not looking at a permutation. Um, this, is, this is like uh, you get chosen for a committee, um, and you don't care if you got chosen first or second, you just want to be on the committee. It's different than like a race where you get first or second place. Um, that is a permutation. Um, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six ways for us to pick two letters. Now then how many ways can we pick three letters? Basically that's just omitting one. Um, so I can either omit the K, I could omit the O, I could omit the S, or I could omit the H. And so there's four ways that I could pick three of those letters. How many ways can I pick all four letters? Just one. Notice this 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 are these coefficients here. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Okay, so what's happening here is we're kind of tying all this in together. This is um, this binomial expansion. It's looking a whole lot like Pascal's triangle. Um, and then the each term in here can be written as a combination. So if you are familiar with Pascal's triangle, we always have ones on the outside, and then we take these two and add them together to get here. So then the next row we have a one, then we add this, one plus two is three, two plus one is three, and then I have a one at the other end. Um, and then we have a one, add these, this is four, this is six, this is four, this is one. Then I have one, add these two together, this is five, this is ten, here, these two add together to get ten, five, one. Um, I'm, I'm just having fun. And there's another row of Pascal's triangle. Um, I don't like to call this the first row because it's, notice, this was when it was raised to the zero power. So if you refer to this one as the zero zeroth row, I don't know, the zero row, then this one, the, raise it to the first power, the second power, the third power. Then this, if you call, say, this one here is the third row, then you've got that three that you would have, that you would have used here for the exponent. Um, so just refer to the top one as a zero row, and then everything will work out nicely. Um, but notice what we can do here is that each one of these can be written as a combination. Um, and so with a combination, it's NCR, or sometimes you'll see it is written as N over R like this. The formula is N factorial over N minus R factorial R factorial. Um, 
hopefully you are familiar with a factorial. If not, what's happening here is say we have four factorial. This doesn't mean four! Anyway, I think I'm funny. Um, but what this is doing is it's four times three times two times one. And so we, we multiply this. Um, and what is this? 12 times 2 is 24. So 4 factorial is equal to 24. Um, and that's what shows up in this formula. And so what can happen here is that any row, any term, any, any value on Pascal's triangle can be found using a combination. So for example, this row right here, this would be like saying, um, I have six letters and I want to choose none of them. Well, there's only one way to do that. Then I have six letters and I want to choose one of them. So, um, so this very first term would be six choose zero. The next term would be six choose one. Then this one says this, the third term is actually six choose two. See how these are, this is going to be that one. Um, what we're looking at here is I want to know how many ways, if I have six letters, can I choose two of them? Well, there's 15. Um, Oh, here's that formula. Sorry. Uh, let's, let's do that one real fast. So say we say 6 choose 2, or they've written it 6 choose 2. This is 6 factorial over 6 minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial, which becomes 6 factorial over 4 factorial times 2 factorial. Notice this is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, yes. Uh, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. This cancels. And I end up, notice that this 4 factorial canceled with 4 factorial right here. And I did 6 divided by 2. This goes in there 3 times. And so this is equal to 15, which was what that value was right here. Okay. Um, so when we, if we were to expand out this whole row, it's 6 to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the sixth row actually has seven terms, the last of which becomes 6 to 6. So if I wanted the nth term, we would start n to 0, n choose 1, dot, dot, dot. Somewhere down there, we'd have n choose n minus 1, and then the very last term is n choose n. Okay, this could have infinite, well, not infinite, but it could have a whole lot of terms. It doesn't really matter. You can use any variable.